Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crude for YouTuber that's trying to be a long no-buy. And today I'm going to do a video that was harder than I thought it was going to be and um, I have been wanting to do something like this and I think I'm going to have other videos up that are kind of like this. I got a comment on one of my videos from my friend Annette and she said it would be fun to see what I think I would have bought if I wasn't on an no-buy and I was like easy peasy lemon squeezy I can do this. It's not easy peasy lemon squeezy, it's kind of hard actually because I have been on a no-buy for this whole year and uh, it is really hard like to know what I would have bought if I could. Um, I went into this no buy because one of the thing was that I was overwhelmed again with my makeup collection. I had no low buy in 2019 it must have been and after that it just went downhill and like in the end of last year I felt like I am not in a place where I want to be with my makeup collection, so I decided to go on a no-buy. And here I am, almost a year later, and um, it's going great. So it's really hard for me to know, like, what have I, what I think I would have bought if I wasn't on my no-buy, because now I'm so set on a no-buy in my brain, so it's hard to switch. But I have picked out 15 palettes. Um, it's a bit more than 15 palettes. So this is going to be an eyeshadow palette video again. And if you didn't know, like eyeshadow palettes was the thing that I bought like always. And um, I am sure they would have been like base products and stuff that I would have bought if I wasn't on a no buy. But like eyeshadow palettes has always been a special thing for me. So I have picked out almost uh, I think it's maybe 17 pounds <laughs> sorry that I think I would have bought if I wasn't on a no-buy and I am going to do a video later on this year I think in December when I talk about things that I know that I'm going to buy next year but I think we just get started so I'm going to scooch a little bit show you pictures and maybe I should start with um, the thing I don't thought that you what was okay I can start with this one this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette they came out this summer I guess the Nouveau and it is something about this palette I don't know what Anastasia Beverly Hills is not one of my favorite brands I know they are a little bit kind of cancelled right now I'm not going into that but uh, yeah I do love the soft glam palette but nothing more than that but it is something with this palette like I think it looks so good but I don't know what it is and I've seen some amazing looks with this and it feels like people do really like this palette and it's something about like just the color on the palette that really speaks to me and also like the colors and I don't know what it is but I just know that if I wasn't on a no-buy, I was going to buy this palette because for some reason I think it's an amazing palette and I don't know why. I have no idea why I think that way. But it just, it feels like I would have really liked this palette and I, I can't get why. But it's just something inside of me that like I would have wanted this palette so so bad. And we can take this palette and this I think it's one of the palettes that I'm going to buy next year and this is the Sugar High palette from Menagerie. I do love Menagerie, I have a lot of their eyeshadow palettes and I do like the formula and they have gone over more to a little bit like duochrome shades and some special shimmers and this sugar high palette came out and I saw swatches and I've seen videos on it and I want this so so bad this has actually been one of the palettes that has been the hardest for me to like no I'm not going to buy it I'm not going to break my no buy 
but it is something about this palette like all the swatches and even like only the pictures on the palette I want this so bad and I still like now I can't remember I think this came out in the beginning of the year and I still can't not think about this palette I don't know why I think it is these special shimmers and even though I think that Menagerie, I, I'm not always super thrilled about their packaging because I think it's a little bit too cute for me. It's not a thing that is my thing, but this little... Is it a flying squirrel in English? I don't know. But it's just something about this and oh, I want it so, so bad. Then I actually want two palettes from Ace Pute. I do really like Ace Pute. I've never had any problems with their formulas. Of course, there have been palettes that I have from them that I don't love all the colors from and palettes that I think I might could declutter, but I have never had a super big problem with their formulas. And this palette, the ambience, I think it is because it has so such deep deep colors like some of the colors are so so deep and it is like this dirty shades that delightful there down in the middle that I do really love and then the shimmers I think it would look so cool to pair this like lighter shimmers with some of the really really dark colors and I do have the nostalgia palette from his potato that I've used once in over a year I have used it once so I don't know, but it's something about this palette. I think it's because it's so deep, but also so light. And uh, this just speaks for, to me. I don't know why, but it's something about this. But the other palette from Ace BJ that I think I'm more eager to own, but I, I can't like, this is not the palette for me. But when I saw the picture on this palette, I was like, what is this for amazingness? <laughs> Do you see Astrid? Astrid. Just woken up. Yeah. She has been sleeping here behind me. Okay. Um this is I don't even know what this is called. Violet Sage palette that is limited. <laughs> hey um a limited edition but so i guess i'm never going to uh, be able to buy this but i think it looks really really good it's something maybe that i started to like purple this year apparently but i just think this looks so nice it's purple it's green and it's got some red deep shade and some really light pinks when I saw this down in like my Instagram feed, I was like, how could I have missed this one? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Should we maybe go back to the obvious things? Mm. From Oran's Eye, there is three palettes. First off, it is of course the Hela or Hela palette. I think it's so hard when things, when it's Swedish words and I'm talking English because I want to say them. We have talked about this at work. It's so hard you switch and because you have different tones and ways you talk but again okay, first yeah the, the Gila palette and this looks so amazing and I have two palettes from Odin's Eye one that is collab palette and one that is a five pan palette six pan it's a split pan the Urid palette and I do really love the palette I have that is collab palette that is with Annette and Odin's Eye and this is with Angelica Nyqvist and I just think this looks so good I have loved every look that I have seen with this one and it feels like people just really really have been liking this one and I think I would have too I have had my mind on duping this palette but this came out in the beginning of this year and I still haven't duped it so I don't know if that is going to happen but this was a palette that I know I would have bought if I wasn't on my no buy because I want to try more things from Odin's Eye but I 
think that like the collab palettes is my thing because what I have tested they are the better ones but I also do think that I would have bought these Christmas palettes mainly because people do rave about this this these have different types of shadows like toppers and everything and that is maybe not like my super super favorite but all the looks I've seen with these looks amazing I saw a video from Anielka Liremar earlier today looked amazing she did two looks and I just think that I would have bought these as like my Christmas present to myself um, because I do really like how these looks I do think though that the background is a little bit rambled but I, I would have bought these this would have been on the way home to me if it wasn't for this freaking no buy so nowhere that's all I can think about then from shroud of course I would have bought the two new palettes so first off the creepy cute two when this came out I was like a little bit disappointed I don't know why but I was but I still am kind of sure that I'm going to buy this next year I do love my creepy cute I love all my shroud palettes. Uh, they are some of my favorite palettes in my collection, except for maybe the Divinity palette, but it, it's me, it's not the palette. <laughs> and uh, I would have really, really liked this creepy cute, mostly because it is yellow, and I do love my yellow shades. And I know that I would have bought this when this came out in the beginning of the year. I would have. Um, and I have been so so stoked and of course I would have bought the Betty Bean Shroud uh, the new palette uh, this is going to be one of the palettes that I am going to buy next year I know that I love the first collab that they did and I'm so so glad that this came out in September so it hasn't been like super hard for me to uh, not buy it i think if this would have come out in like february i think it would have been so so much harder this is though going to be restocked as long as people want it and they had the same thing with its freaking bats and it's still restocking after a year so i guess it's no i don't need to worry about this but yeah this i would have bought in a heartbeat i would have been on shroud's website when it was launching just to get it i know it so another palette that I think I would have done amazing looks with and that I think had would have been one of my top palettes this year it's the Meet Me at Midnight from Loose Cosmetics. I have the Meet Me in the Other World and I love that palette. It's one of my favorite palettes in my collection. I really think that like the whole package with this palette is amazing. It's an amazing theme of it it's an amazing mix of shadows and I just love everything about it this I don't think is that special because I do like it but it's not like the same thing but when I've seen swatches on this palette and when I've seen looks I've been mad at myself that I was doing this not buy so this I would have bought because I I do really really like the loose cosmetics formula and um, I like the size of the palette even though it is 16 colors I don't think the palette it's like too big so would have loved this another palette that I think you all know that I would have bought is this one from Nabla if you didn't know that I have like every palette from Nabla except for I think it's one of their glitter quads I have one of them I don't know how many they came out with but like glitter shades isn't my thing but I would have bought this and I remember when I think it was a no buy update I did <laughs> I was like this is going so easy as long as Nabla and Kaleidos doesn't came out with anything new I think it was hours after I put up that video, Nabla did announce this palette. And I, I would have bought this. I, I still think that I'm going to buy this. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I think it 
it could be this and also like after that video kaleidos also did release this one and i was like i hate you and um, i when i look at it now i am saying no one buying this one but i know if i wouldn't been on the low buy i would have bought this because i buy everything from kaleidos so this one i would have bought and also like the other one that they released later this year uh, in september i don't know though if i would have bought a quads in this one but i would have bought the pens i'm still like debating if i'm going to buy the pens but i i'm not a graphic liner girl and i think you have to be to get the most out of these so yeah but i think I, I would have bought these pens maybe not the quads but i i would have bought these pens another brand that i know that i would have tried this year if it wasn't for the snow buy is unearthly cosmetics a lot of my friends on youtube have talked about them and raved about them and i was close to buy in the end of uh, last year but i didn't i would have wanted this lore palette because i just think it looks it's grungy, it has an orange, it just looks like an amazing palette and I know that people really 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 love this lore palette and also like Unearthly. And I don't know how many palettes I've bought but I know that I would have bought the lore palette and then I'm not sure what I have thrown in my basket but I think like in October when they came out with this Beetlejuice inspired thingies or Halloween launches I would have bought these as well if I did like the formula on the lore palette I know that I would have bought these ones as well and I don't know if I'm going to buy anything from Unearthly next year maybe maybe if one of my friends is ordering from them but yeah uh, th this feels like a brand that would have been perfect for me and I think if I wasn't on the snow buy I would have gone and buy so much from Unearthly. I know myself. So yeah. Then I have two palettes left and one is this one from LH Cosmetics. If you didn't know this I do love LH Cosmetics. I... In the beginning I bought everything they ever released and this year they have came out with I think it's three palettes and this palette has been the latest this came out in October I think and I just do really like it and I think it is they usually do kind of lighter palettes which I haven't been like super thrilled but this has some really nice depth to it and I think I would have liked this so so much and this would have been a palette that I bought from LH Cosmetics this year. About the other two I don't think so but this one would have been in my makeup collection. I would have bought it in the stores in Sweden because I can do that and I think I would have loved it. And this I didn't see coming but then I saw swatches on it and that people seem to really like it and that is the Hocus Pocus 2. I can never like remember um, the name of these are there. I don't think they are named Hocus Pocus but it's like with the Tinkerbell palette. It's not the Tinkerbell, it's a sparkle a little bit of magic. Is it switching hour? I don't know. But I've, I would have bought this one. And I think I would have, because you could buy this one in like, was it a mystery box or was it buying this one and get the first palette from last year? And now when I've seen the pictures on the palette from last year, I've been really, really intrigued. I'm not that intrigued that I bought them, but if, I would have bought these. I would have. And I think this is the only thing that I would have bought from Colourpop actually this year if I wasn't on my no buy. I did go through some other Colourpop releases this year but it was nothing that I was like super super thrilled about. Um, but this I actually think that I would have bought because 
people have done amazing looks with it. The swatches looks really good and people seem to like this, so I guess I would have bought it. <laughs> And I didn't see that coming. I would have also bought this one. The one up from Lethal. I don't know. But it is something about this. I think though I would have been able to dupe this kind of good in my collection. But I really really think that this looks so so cool. I don't know about the packaging but... Uh, the colors, I just love the mix out of it, and I would have bought it. Lethal, Lethal is a really easy brand for me to shop from because they are based in Berlin, so it's no like extra taxes or anything. And I would have bought the one up actually. Maybe the Teresa is dead, the second one as well. I don't know, maybe. Um, yeah, that was all for this video. It feels like it's super super long and Do you know now maybe why I am on a no buy? I know there is like a difference because if I would have bought all of these it has it would have been like All over the year. It always sounds like so much more when you talk about it in like all at once um, But yeah, that is one of the reasons why I'm having a no buy so yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and if you want me to do a video on what I am going to buy because I'm not going to buy all these things but I know I would have if I wasn't on an O-Buy but if you want me to do a video where I talk about things that I would that I will buy next year I can do that. I have some base things as well that I really really want and yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!